hi guys welcome back to my channel um, this morning I'm gonna be doing my quick morning skin routine because this is a work day and you know hey it's a busy day so I have to like get this video out ASAP this routine out ASAP I mean um, I'm gonna show you what I've been using for my skin for the past couple of months and if you didn't already know I have textured skin and I have been battling with this for a long time. I mean, I'm still like going through the motions, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been using and you know, how my skin has been, you know, looking yummy. As you guys have been saying already in my other videos, excuse the way I look, I literally just woke up, um, took a shower and you know, came out to do this video because hey, like I said, today is a busy day. So let's just go right into the video. I've been using this fresh cleanser it's the soy face cleanser from fresh and whew, i'll tell you guys this for free it is divine divine it's the best thing since sliced bread honestly the jelly the jelly like consistency i love i'm just splashing some water on my on my fingertip I love it so much. It smells so like spice, you know, it reminds me of the spa. And it's just like not stripping. It's just easy. Like the name implies, it's fresh. Do you get it? It gives me like fresh vibes. Actual fresh vibes. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, rinse this out, and yeah, we can continue the routine, okay? Things. When you're cleansing, make sure you are actually cleansing. Don't just do shuku 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 shuku. And wash your face you get like make sure you're cleansing cleanse your neck your face your eyes especially those of you who use like overnight night cream like I do that sometimes you want to clean your eyes cleanse your eyes you know make sure you're not just doing baru baru you're actually like cleansing you get now the next thing that I'm gonna use is my polish choice BHA I have not really been toning this is one step of my routine that I took out using toners. I've stopped using toners for a while now. It's about a year now and I haven't missed toners. So I just figured toners are not <laughs> necessary for my routine. I don't know about you, but my pers me personally, I've stopped using toners and it doesn't really matter. So I'm currently using this toner from, um, not toner, it's a salicylic acid liquid from polish choice oh you guys if i tell you that this is one of my holy grails i don't play with it at all i really don't play with it at all and i don't use this every time i use this like maybe like on a three day four day interval kind of pee so i haven't used it in a little while hence why i'm using it today i absolutely love it because first of all it really helps my skin in terms of like it being textured and having like all those things it really really helps and then second of all um salicylic acid is a really good bha is a really good like exfoliant um the only concern with this exfoliant is that it is really reactive to sunlight so you have to make sure that you use a lot of sunscreen if you're going to opt for this liquid any aha bha liquid or solution or paste or whatever make sure that you are using a lot of sunscreen when you're done um, especially if you're going to be out even if you're inside the house use sunscreen because hey this thing is really powerful next step for me is my hyaluronic acid i use this is my everyday routine so i use hyaluronic acid every single day um, and I don't even let the AHA, I mean BHA dry. I just put it on there because hyaluronic acid works best when there's liquid on your face because it can now like boost the moisture based on what is also on your skin. So you don't need to wait for it to dry. You don't need to wait for your BHA or AHA to dry. I just go right in with my hyaluronic acid i love hyaluronic acid it gives my face the hydration my face requires and this one is not about whether or not you have oily skin or dry skin i personally have oily skin but that hydration is key i'm telling you sis forget about whether or not you have oily skin you need your face to be hydrated 
so now that we're done with hydration I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer this is the moisturizer I'm using now the CeraVe SA lotion for rough and bumpy skin sis this product has single-handedly this one and the polish choice has single-handedly changed my life it's made my routine so much shorter I don't use as much serums anymore I don't use as much this and that this moisturizer says is really really good um, and it's cheap you know CeraVe CeraVe is like an affordable product so it's not bad at all um, I've been using this for a little while now and I will tell you for free I just have you just have to use tiny though and I will tell you for free especially if you, you're someone that has acne or textured skin it is <laughs> the best thing since sliced bread the best thing since sliced bread remember always to moisturize your neck or whatever you're doing to your face due to your neck anything you're doing to your face due to your neck so back to cleansers I used to use the CeraVe SA cleanser when my like whenever my face is like flared up with like all the tiny bumps because it's also a salicylic acid um, cleanser and it's fantastic it works really well with this as well um, but you also don't want to be using too much salicylic acid on your face hence why I didn't use this this morning so I try to like balance it out and even with this and the BHA the only reason why I'm able to use them together is because I don't use my BHA I mean yes the polish choice um, BHA liquid every day because that's just too much like acids on your face Do you get what I mean now the next thing for me is my sunscreen I've been using black girl sunscreen for a while and I will tell you that like they say at the back of their pack bye bye umbrella <laughs> I beg use your umbrella um, because I also think that it's important to use um, some blockers but for this for sunscreen specifically I like black girl sunscreen because it doesn't leave any white cast on my face um, I have somewhere to be this morning and I don't mind wearing all this sunscreen because it's going to absorb into my skin eventually before I leave my room actually it's gonna absorb into my skin and don't forget your neck yeah I don't play I pack it <laughs> I pack it I don't play I use sunscreen every time because I find that periods when I don't use sunscreen my face looks like it's begging for water begging for life my skin looks so dead times when I don't use sunscreen so sunscreen also adds a bit of glow to your skin <clears throat> to your skin um, so yeah, that's my skincare routine. But one more thing I will add is my lip balm. I'm currently using this lip balm from Burt's Bees. Because, since you can't be walking about with chap lips, especially if you're going out without makeup. Like, I'm definitely going out without makeup. So that's why, you know, I put a lot of sunscreen like this and I use this specific sunscreen. If I was gonna wear makeup, I don't think I'll use this specific makeup. This specific sunscreen I mean but hey I'm not wearing makeup today this is my look this is how I'm looking for my day and this is my morning skincare routine I will do one for an evening one one that's a little longer too so you guys can see like a range of products I use um, if you guys are interested in that as well you know like what I use for like overnight treatments and things like that um, but this is my everyday morning skincare routine really um, there's nothing to it I want you to watch this video and then start figuring out what works on your skin um, I have oily skin so I tend to use foaming cleansers cleansers that foam up because you know that really helps with oily skin but if you have like dry skin don't be using too much cleansers that have like that like foaming use hydrating cleansers I'll put some options in the description box that you can use you can try out 
also if you have acne you might want to you know do more research on that because i don't have acne so i can't speak for people that have acne you get but i personally because i like i said this video is more for people who have textured skin and oily skin this is what i've used and this is what i've been using for a while now and you know it's been really helping my skin anyways i think i have come to the end of this video now my skin is ready for the world thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys got one or two things from this video if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and catch you in my next video